Hey, what's up everybody? It's Raw Assassin again with a new TL video and this one is going to be quick. Uh, they just had a live stream with the developers. I did not watch it because I just woke up and I have to go to work real soon. So the news that they posted on the official website, I'm going to just go over them real quick. And later at some point, you know, I'm going to watch the stream or I'm going to watch the recap and probably going to make a video on that. I've heard they going to work on a lot of PvE updates. Yes, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of PvE updates, uh, which is probably still good, you know, might attract more people again, and then they will start fixing PvP, hopefully, because it's still a PvP game. But let's go real quick. Uh, we got new coupons, you know, uh, right now you can see all the coupons on the screen. You might as well want to pause the video, you know, and add them in the game if you're playing on Korea right now. Uh, very good, you know, uh, especially this one. If you want to reroll right now, skill conversion books, five books they given you. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool stuff, yeah. Other than that, you know, you get like little, little stuff, just little uh, consumables and stuff like that. Uh, okay, hopefully everybody had the chance to save the coupons, and let's go, let's go through quick updates and this is an update uh, regarding the dungeons and these updates are gonna go in effect after the maintenance next week so let's go over real quick they're gonna be adding new special dungeon uh, one is one instance dungeon it means one dungeon per week for five weeks I'm not sure if it's gonna be exactly new dungeons or it's gonna be a hard mode because I saw in discord somebody was talking about uh, they were adding hard mode of tyrants island so yeah it's either gonna be hard harder modes of the existing dungeons or actually no because they say in addition of challenge stage stage to existing level 50 special dungeons okay so yeah they add in hard modes to already existing dungeons and i guess they open in one new dungeon per week for the next five weeks so five new dungeons in the next five weeks uh very interesting so we'll see what happens with that uh also the rewards in the existing dungeons are changing they add in new rewards to the existing dungeons as you see the all the purple items are the new new uh, rewards that you can get in the existing dungeons so see we got golf uh, ghost wolf armor dead dealers touch i'm not sure that some of the translation might be might be a little messed up uh, because it translates from korean you know so in-game translation might be different but it could be reaper's mask right and armor yeah like Okay, I know the cloak, the green cloak. Yeah, really cool, really cool stuff. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see the chances and all that. But, you know, just the fact that we can get boss gear. And uh, now, I mean, the pieces of gear, not just from the bosses, yeah, but also from uh, the instance dungeons. That makes it easier for regular people who are not in big zergs to obtain the items. Um okay so also they're gonna be adding new wait hold on okay yeah so they also add in new stones so you know how every time you complete a dungeon now you get a crystal and when you collect 40 crystals you can craft a box and pick a weapon uh, one of the eight dungeon weapons, right? So now they also add in stones, and the stones are going to be locked to specific dungeons. So it, each dungeon is going to have its own stones. And after you complete a dungeon, you're going to get a stone. And then when you co uh, collect a certain amount of stones, I'm not sure how, how many we're going to need. We're going to be able to trade them for the chest uh, for to so we could select equipment from that specific dungeon. You know, so it makes it easier again maybe you know now sometimes people say they run let's say temple of slaughter for 40 times and never get the pants so at least now you know you're gonna have a chance to run the same dungeons for like probably 40 50 times and then select the reward of your choice which is also makes it easier and i guess good for more casual players you know not even casual players i would say to unlucky players you know who keep doing this and doing this and not getting the rewards they want so this is also good less rng not even less but yeah you know what i'm saying <laughs> sorry guys i'm lagging I'm, it's the morning i'm still drinking my coffee i like, just woke up barely also the maximum amount of uh, dungeon points you know the instant dungeon points is going to be changed to 4500 from 5000 not sure why 
but yeah that's what's gonna happen 4500 is gonna be the new max and after the next maintenance next week all your uh, contract dimension points will be reset to 4500 so if you know try to burn all your dungeon runs before the maintenance because they're gonna be set to max right after uh, also they're talking about they're gonna be adding different events uh, they're gonna be giving out uh, those new stones based on your previous dungeon play records not sure if it's from your start or not or what but maybe it's for the last week for the last month we'll see but yeah guys you know this as far as the dungeons this is it um i'm sure there was a lot of a lot more info from the live stream i'm definitely gonna watch it later when i have time but unfortunately i gotta uh, make the same video in another language right now in russian and then i'll have to yeah go to work but thanks for watching you know remember to like subscribe hit the bell notification button yeah comment on the video and i'll see you soon guys peace tl is getting more interesting i love it